So invoke custom function is something which invokes the existing, uh, you know, query or existing function. So, so what we do is we can right click. So already we have created a parameter, right? You can right click and create a function. So before you invoke any function, so invoke custom function is like you're invoking the existing function. So right now we have not created any function here. Okay. All we have is parameter. You can see a symbol of it here. We have a, a list which we have converted using converter list. And we have a query, but we do not have any function. So how do we create a function? Simply right click on this and click on create function. Okay. So provided if there is a parameter, it is well and good. Okay. We can create a function on top of that particular query. So you already have a parameter linked to this financials, right? Now we can right click and create a function. Automatically, you can see create function pop-up has come in. You can name it, name a function. And also it says that there's a, there are parameters called country parameter to this particular financials query. So I'm adding new function name. Maybe I would call it as uh, hmm. I'll say invoke function example. Invoke function example. So I'm just doing a random name. So click on OK and observe what the symbol here. Automatically, the uh, the queries and they are separated out into two groups. Right? One is this folder group, the other is other folders group. So it's just trying try to you know differentiate between the list other versus other things. Okay. So these three are together because. We know this parameter has been linked to this and directly we have a filter here as a same parameter. And now we have created the function on top of this financial, which is FX, right? You can see the symbol here shows us FX. And it just looks like some parameter saying enter parameter because there's a parameter before this function also, okay? And also you can see there's an invoke option directly available. So what I've done is just created a right click and created a function, giving it a name, and since it's already a parameter there, it is suggesting us to invoke. So what I can do is I can just enter that, uh, you know, we have, we know, right, or different parameters in that. So maybe I can add Canada and click on invoke. So this will automatically get a new query. You can see this invoke function below this part. And as you can see, it's totally just like a table, right? So it's totally new table or a new query with this particular country only for Canada and also can keep on doing that. See, I also want another table, which is for Germany. Maybe click on invoke. It's another table. So I can rename the instead of invoke function to Germany data, right? I can say this is for Canada data. Right. So these are two separate queries, which are not having any parameters as such. We're just invoking from the function directly directly invoking it from the function. Okay. Well, this is a, a parameterized thing which will dynamically change though, but this is something which is independent of that particular uh, filtered, uh, you know, parameterized query. Rather, it we are invoking the data to a specific uh, thing. Okay. So this is uh, how the invoke function works. And there's another option that we could directly invoke from here, right? So. Uh, I'll give you another example. So this direct invoke custom function can also be uh, written. So let's say for that, I, I'll use some other data set. I'll quickly uh, get an Excel workbook, which is on my desktop. Okay. There's something called MacBook. Okay. MacBook short data set I've created. Okay. So I'm going to keep it separate. So this is small table one. Let me just pull that table. Right. So just for the easy purpose, I'm just moving this into a new group. So, you know, invoke function demo two. Okay. So I wanted to minimize others. So you guys don't get confusion. Okay. We're going with another example of invoke directly this option. Okay. Invoke custom function. So here there's a table one. Okay. So I wanted to calculate dynamically something, a new column here. So that is also possible. So how do we do that? First, we have to create a query, right click on this, create a new query. Okay. I'm creating a blank query. Okay. And I'm going to transform uh, home button, click on advanced editor so that 
instead of formula bar that you see here i'm going to click on advanced editor so that i can see a better deeper version of it okay so now i'm going to type in something let's say uh the brackets this is some format that you can see let's say inr as number so i'm just giving the format so inr is some any number like in give it xyz also xyz any any name of that particular uh you know field that i'm planning to create but i'm also saying this should be a number field number type field that's why i'm saying as number and the syntax goes like this is equal to create the and uh we would say simply x y z maybe uh into 80. so what i'm trying to do is if you look at the table that we have we have a macbook variations and it says in dollars what is the price like 1200 dollars or 1300 dollars but what i'm doing is i'm trying to create some formula which is like each one dollar is 80 rupees right so I'm, i wanted to get in, in inr right indian rupees so that's the reason i'm creating an xyz or inr kind of a field just to get that uh, value. So I just created some random query and clicking on, you can see there's no syntax errors have been detected. So everything is good. If there's something wrong for say, I'm not going with the syntax, let's say. So there is something wrong. So you can see there's some error throws up like this. Okay. So I'll go back to this and I'll just try to add that one symbol and click on done again. Now things are fine. And also it's expecting me to uh, enter the parameter that's like okay INR. So whatever, let's say just just for checking, if I can enter two and click on invoke, it will invoke this two into eighty, right? One sixty. Okay, I'm deleting this. I can delete this invoke one. I'm going back to this query. So it's like a uh, function that we have created, which will act like you know uh, invoking whatever we want. So we can use it for data that we have done here, right? We can use it for calculation also. So when we use it for calculation, we can go back to this table one, okay? And click on this add column. And when you select this table one, I can click on invoke custom function. Because I wanted to get these 15, you can see MacBook Air 15 inches M2 has got $1,599. This is price in USD, but I want that in INR. So this invoke custom function will give you this pop-up where you can type in uh, price INR. And since I know there are a couple of functions in there, uh, my recent recent uh, formula that was written was in a query, which is acting like a function, right? Query one. So I'm picking up the same query one. At the very moment it asks, okay, uh, you can enter me the value. What, what are you planning to push me? So I wanted to push this price USD, right? I wanted to push this particular column. So I can select this, click on column name and click, go to the drop down and select this price USD. Now click on OK. Automatically, we get a new column created. If you notice, and the price is now in INR. Okay, fifteen hundred ninety nine dollars is enter roughly like one lakh twenty seven thousand nine twenty rupees. Okay, this is the price of each one. So this is how it looks. So invoke custom function will help us to create new columns like this and also generate data like this. So this is what invoke custom function. Das.